Hello everyone, my name is Fan. Link to the video gonna watch the video. It's called Pokemon Fan Plays Digimon for the first time. So this video was made by Jaden Animations. The link will be in the description down below, at least to her channel. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be interesting considering the fact that she played mostly Pokemon in her life. <laughs> I've honestly never played Digimon games or seen Digimon anime. I've seen lurking on the internet, but I would never pay too much attention to it. I know that most of the characters in there can talk, and all I know, uh, all I know is that there is a Agumon, Renamon, and Talmon. Basically, these three Digimon characters that I remember. So without further ado, let me just adjust everything and push play. I know absolutely nothing about Digimon. Pokemon is my entire life. Yes. So why would I need to branch out? Well, I happen to be a very open-minded person, and the mm -hmm. only way to prove that is to play a Digimon game for the first time. I yes. wanted to see if, putting all my bias aside, I could bridge the gap between the two and they could live together in harmony in my tiny little brain hobby drawer. So thus <laughs> began my journey on finding the perfect Digimon game to start out with. At first, I didn't think that would be a difficult feat. Every community kinda has the general agreed consensus on what media is best to consume as a newcomer, right? All it takes is a quick Google search, I play with the internet people tell me, and now I'm a Digimoner. <laughs> well, apparently not here. I've come to realize that it's a bit complicated for them. Everywhere I looked, there were threads upon threads of people trying to agree on what Digimon game is even good in the first place. Pretty much every comment I read said something along the lines of, This same, game is pretty same good. Same thing should be yeah, happening with Pokemon. For these things. Or, This game is great. If you can look past these extremely annoying same, mechanics, uh, I want to say that I same thing should be happening game, with Pokemon games. I would look further I'm into it sure. and realize a lot of people actually had a lot of complaining to do. And it wasn't even angry complaining. It seemed like I've walked in on a fandom that has just been hurt over and over, and they're really trying to hang on to something and believe <laughs> in the good of the franchise, but they've just been put through a lot. You know, kind of like it. the Sonic fandom. I've never had to do so much research just to <laughs> well, find I don't know a about that. Game Sonic Frontiers is out, that so. people can just all agree is good. People were talking about how they like Digimon World, but apparently it's like a tedious and frustrating Tamagotchi game where you just start over if they die. Digimon World wow. 2 is apparently a dungeon crawler, but extremely grindy and complicated. And I read a lot of people complaining about it just being bland. People said Digimon World 3 is a typical RPG, but the battles get tiring and annoying. Lots of backtracking and never feeling like you get anywhere. Digimon World 4, Digimon World Championship, the list goes on and on. Con it's your after <laughs> I spent multiple research sessions searching, even opted for a last I mean, Digimon is a, asking, is a competitive Twitter. game to Pokemon. Everyone was saying different things. No one seemed to be able to agree that there was just one game that was overall good and easy to start with. And Digimon fandom, if there truly is a good game out there, you guys need to start pitching the franchise better. You made this difficult. I will say it seemed like the majority of people enjoyed Digimon Cyber Sleuth, but the thing is, that's not really the type of game I wanted to play for the channel. It looks like it's got more of a Persona 5 vibe that focuses <laughs> more on the story and characters and stuff. That's just I mean, what sure. I read, I don't know. Either way, it wasn't the fit for what I'm looking for. I'm sure I would love it as a casual playthrough, but it just didn't hit my content checklist. All this research led me to a game I decided to settle on. Digimon World Dawn. It didn't seem perfect, I saw complaints with it, but I thought, you know, it seemed like the same amount of complaints other Digimon games were getting, and there were enough people talking positively about it. I figured I could look past the criticisms, maybe even if I was aware of them beforehand, they Don't knock until you try much. it, I and guess. Plus, I thought it looked nice. I like the pixel art, and I'm a sucker for good pixel art. So after all that, all the research, knowing the flaws beforehand, having a positive mental attitude, I settled on a good enough Digimon game, right? Something at least playable, right? <laughs> as much as I want to say yes, this was one of, if not the most miserable video game experiences I've ever forced myself to go through. 
And that isn't even <laughs> as a biased Pokemon player. That's as an enjoyer of fun. I was aware of Digimon World Dawn's criticisms. I knew what I was getting myself into. Yet despite all the warnings, all the positive outlooks, all of the manifesting to be able to frolic hand in hand with both the Digimon and Pokemon franchises <laughs> together in a beautiful field of a I thousand mean, like I said, don't knock until you it try it. It was just awful. It started out lighthearted. I tried to put my name in and realized they only allow five characters for the main character's name, so I'm Jaden. Before any gameplay, I'm given four different packs of three Digimon. The balance pack, attack pack, speed pack, and the Japanese pack. And honestly, mm -hmm. I was shocked to see how huge and powerful they all looked. Look at these big I men. Mean, I mean, they are powerful in the anime. Like this. this is awesome. I chose the attack don't pack because them. the big worm guy was my favorite. And then the game forces me to nickname all my Digimon. It's not oh, an really? option. Um, and if I try to name them their original Digimon names, I can't Corona. because they don't give me enough characters. Again, out of everything I read about this game, this is hilariously not mentioned in anyone's criticism list. I don't know if it's a Digimon thing or I don't know. So here I, Jaden, am with my Charmon, Tony Tiger, and Big Worm. I'm not even <laughs> given a chance to breathe before I'm thrown into this Digimon gang tournament having to fight for my Digimon and friends' lives and glory in an environment I'm not even Don't forget that they can speak. Sure how to all comprehend. Digimons can speak. Like, first of all, where are we? This sure doesn't look like the states. I honestly thought or that she would rather play Bakugan. Also, what is a Digimon? I win by figuring it out, kind of not this really. This is just my Still opinion. Still don't know what's going on. And then win a few more times before the tournament is over and our team or gang or something, Light Fang, is the winner. Yay, Jaden! You won the tournament for us! What's going on? Oh my god, what the f***? Is that in a complete <laughs> twist in story direction, a genuinely terrifying virus of death spawns and starts turning all the Digimon into Digi eggs, including mine. I checked my guys, and Charmon is the same. Tony Tiger is a bit smaller, but Big Worm is a dinosaur now. He's not a big uh... worm anymore. Now his cleverly tailored nickname doesn't make any sense. How was I supposed to know I was getting fully grown Digi guys <laughs> and? They were gonna turn them back to small digi guys again, and Big Worm starts off as a lizard. That's like the opposite of how evolution works. There's nothing works. wrong with that. I, I knew guess. I didn't know anything about Digimon. In my opinion. But after the past five minutes, I've realized I am completely out of my element. I go up and fight the horrific demon virus that I'm IRL scared of, and despite still not knowing what the hell I'm doing, I end up winning, even with my little digi babies. The virus <laughs> deuces out, and the head of the Light Fang Clan, this glare guy that's his, <laughs> Jesus. Name. his name is glare is like this is so weird go climb a mountain and look around or something i guess i'm sent out to look for virus clues at login mountain and run into my light fang friend kenpa who's like i don't know what happened we got here and all the wild Digimon started attacking me and the other members. They left me behind to be mauled with no escape equipment. I'm fine now, but I think I'm just gonna go back to the city. She does that, and I start traversing the mountain. And this is where I experience my I mean, my this already kind of feels like you're playing a Pokemon everyone game. everyone was talking about in this game. All the dungeons and areas and stuff are mazes. They're all mazes with absolutely bonkers wild Digimon encounter rates. You don't have a mini map to know where you're going or where <laughs> you even are at any point of the dungeon. And there's no item to avoid the random encounters. Basically, I am realizing this is like playing a Pokemon game, but the whole game is a maze. You never know where you are because maps don't exist. Everything is wild grass and there's no repels. I think. I chose the wrong game. I end up stumbling my way to the top of the mountain. Well, at you, least I think you now have top. to finish it. I have it no idea if you commit where it. I am and never will. And the other two guys who left a defenseless little girl to be roasted over a digi fire are getting beat up by a digi eagle. I knock the bird in the head hard enough to make him come to his senses, and he apologizes for being mean, which is more Aqu than I expected. Aquilama. To be fair. And the guys are saved. By the way, I I didn't I didn't know that Digimon. Pokemon. I didn't know that they spoke. Yes, they can spoke. The People they can speak, they can speak. And interacted. I it, be small, it's weird to me. But I'm and I never quite got over it. We return to the city and everyone's like, they Great job, Jaden. And then suddenly I'm left alone with absolutely no idea what to do or how to continue progressing. I'm trying to figure out. I think I saw I a clip uh, of uh, Digimon anime right where this like, one guy uh, conquered 
No, not Conquest. This guy went to Mars with his Digimon. Something I don't know. And I do want to make sure you guys know that even the main hub is a maze. The amount of time I spent trying to figure out where I even am in the supposed safe space of the city overworld was pure comedy and frustration. <laughs> Why is everything in this game perfectly designed to try and make me never open my DS ever again? I am just wandering I wonder around what's walking the name, what I am 60% What sure the name of her second parrot is? I know that she has Ari. To, to keep playing a game I no longer want to play, I look it up and figure out that if I want to progress the story, I need to earn it. I have to walk into this building, talk to the digi clerks, and complete multiple useless side quests that have nothing to do with anything to unlock another chunk of the main game. And let's not forget, all the dungeons are mazes. I said that already. I don't know why, but, but it kind of feels like a sewer's raft because in a sewer's raft, you literally have to pay uh, extra to money to continue the, the story. Phase. But only for but you don't have to do any side quests. Just no. A biscuit, just a just you have to pay extra sweet, money sweet to continue story the story. Now. I'm humbled yet again. It is really by pathetic. Being told in my to go opinion. play more errand boy <laughs> in more pointless mazes SpongeBob. as the cycle continues. SpongeBob moment. Surely this game is not serious. Surely it this is. game didn't get an overall average to decent rating on multiple game review sites. Surely the people who said this game was Pretty good, all things considered. We're secret enemies hoping to pull innocent victims into their dark, dark digiweb, looking to either break the weak or torture the strong. What is going on? Am I the only one who thinks this game was meant to be given to hostages to torture information out of them? I'm three hours in and I'm straight up ready to spill my mother's maiden name. And I still don't <laughs> even know how to play the thing or what a Digimon is because no, I do not want to read a Bible's worth of tutorials. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the first person to use a Nintendo DS to kill a man. Let me cut <laughs> this whole show short and just tell you the entire non-fluff plot of the game. Evil Fountain of Youth of Death virus turns all the Digimon into Digi Eggs. Light Fang Clan thinks Night Crow Clan is behind it because their chief is acting strange. Night Crow Clan thinks Light Fang Clan is behind it because their chief is acting strange. <laughs> the two realize neither of them are behind it because they've been mind controlled to act strange. They find out there's an evil Digimon virus thing behind it all. Jaden beats it up. It fades away and credits roll immediately. Bro, wow. how long did it Bro. take me to experience that story? <laughs> Jeez, she wilted. 15 in-game hours. And really? I was cheating. I was using speed up and EXP codes and guides and ibuprofen. That time could have easily tripled oh, yeah. if I was being a good little I forgot that she has to use game in its purest, most intended form. ibuprofen. But if I did that, I would have thrown myself into the ocean. And even oh using all the resources I could find, it still was not a fun experience. Here's a clip of me trying to read a guide after my fifth time of being completely lost in a maze dungeon. If you've unlocked the macro C, go there and head south, then go up and right to head to the south path leading to another screen then go left after another screen then go to the big bridge looking thing on the left if you don't have the key you head south oh my <sighs> god i didn't understand any of that <laughs> Now it feels I'm like playing out, Mass dude. Effect Andromeda, <laughs> and you know what I'm talking I about. To maze after maze I'm gonna explain after later, maze, after this video will end. After wild encounter, but throughout all of that, the game still expected me to do a cement mixer amount of grinding. No way, Jose! Do you know how many layers deep this agony cake is already? You want more? Sir, yes. I am but a husk. As you can see, there is not a molecule of serotonin, dopamine, or endorphins in this lifeless body. There is nothing left for you to take. You have created a human raisin. I'm really <laughs> human sorry, raisin. Digimon fans. I really have nothing against Digimon as a whole. In fact, I absolutely loved a lot of the Digimon designs. When it comes to monsters and creatures, I have to admit, I am an edgy bitch. So I absorbed <laughs> those guys Jeez. like they were a little puddle of muddy water in a scorching barren desert. Because metaphorically speaking, that's what they really were to me. Look at all these fellas! I'm surrounded by everything I could ever want in a monster. Pokemon could never. Maybe Agron. I even got Big Worm back! He's my friend forever! Despite all my efforts, I chose the wrong Digimon game. I really did try. I'm sorry I didn't play Cyber Sleuth. I didn't know the other option was a thousand punches to the skull. Regardless of the pain this game has inflicted on me, I can 
against all odds, say I am coming out of this experience a bit of a Digimon enjoyer. Maybe I still don't know a single thing about any of it. You should watch the anime, I guess. Guys, I think they're cool. This evil, evil game somehow didn't tarnish my view on Digimon as a franchise. I am damaged, but I forgive. One day I will play Cyber Sleuth and hopefully be able to commit to being a fully fledged Digimon fan. That's how I think it works. Until then, Digimoners, I'm worried about you. Please seek therapy. Hello, thank you for watching another video. <laughs> I mean, sure. I don't want to say anything bad to this, honestly. Uh, what I want to say is that when she was talking about uh, her uh, trying to read uh, the tutorial for uh, going through the quest, it reminded me of Mass Effect Andromeda because I played that game and I beat it. But gosh, people were so frustrated with this game. And uh, they were right about that because most of the side quests were like you need to uh, when you get them they say you need to uh, get to the specific specific planet and uh, receive a part of specific uh, I don't know obelisk uh, I'm just making stuff up and then go to another planet that you already explored like to 100 percent and you need to get that stuff and go to a third planet and get the last stuff and then only come back and it's like i feel like there are at least 10 15 12 20 quests that i need to do uh side quests and all of them required me to come back to the same planet that i already uh cleaned uh i got all of the stuff in there all of them all of my main objectives were finished all the side quests that were specifically on this planet were finished and they still wanted me to go back and clean some of those areas yet again it was so annoying and uh, yeah and most importantly i have to say the mass effect andromeda uh, in terms of characters it was really bland and there was almost no one that i got <laughs> attracted to i know that in mass effect games that you can basically uh, get attracted to one of the characters you can pick anyone you want to romance but in Mass Effect and Andromeda all of them were played pretty bland and this is just my opinion um, well I guess you can say Veteran X was actually one of the main characters that I would love to romance with because she, she, at least she had character BB was shit the rest of them were shit anyway back to Digimon um, and Jaden um, I have to say like she tried at least, and that's what counts. So that was uh, Pokemon Fan Plays Digimon for the first time by Jaden. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button with a little your mind, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell. Today has been Fed Link with you, and bye bye. <laughs>